Hey guys, Nerd King 101 here, and today I'm going to be talking about One Piece and whether or not it is a battle shonen. Now the first thing I want to establish is the kinds of shows I consider battle shonen. So I consider Naruto a battle shonen, Dragon Ball a battle shonen, at least post the beginning. Dragon Ball is weird with that, but I definitely consider the later parts of the manga a battle shonen, and I consider the whole entirety of Bleach. A battle shonen. Now with One Piece, it's weird because fighting is a part of One Piece. There is no denying that One Piece has those traits that make up a battle shonen: the power, the crazy fight, the over-the-top ability, all of that. It has all that. It has all the qualifications to be a battle shonen, and in some ways it is. But I don't think that's what it's about. I don't think it's what it's about in the sense that Naruto's a pain arc. The entire purpose of the arc is to build up to this fight between Naruto and Pain. That is at the end of the day, the main thing in that arc. I don't think the main thing in Whole Cake Island was supposed to be Luffy and Katakuri's fight. That was the main big epic fight, but Whole Cake Island is about the adventure. It's about saving Sanji. It's about Sanji and his relationship with his family. And nine times out of ten, if you asked a One Piece fan what their favorite One Piece moments were, not all five of them, if you asked in their top five, are going to be moments from the fight. One of them is probably going to be Robin's famous I Want to Live, or the death of the Mary, or some of the great moments Oda had in his stories that had nothing to do with fighting. Hell, one of my favorite moments in One Piece. Hand down, it's when they're riding the knockup stream in the anime, and we are kissing in the background, and it's so cool. And they're going at the Sky Pia, and it's so cool. And that's the point. A lot of One Piece's greatest moments don't involve fighting, because that's not what Oda is writing a story about. The purpose of One Piece is not to show a ton of flashy fights. And just so an adventure the Straw Hat Pirates are going on, and they end up having to fight people during that adventure. That is one of the reasons I think One Piece has the weakest fight of the big three, because that's not what Oda focuses on the most. Yes, a lot does go into the fight, a lot goes into the abilities, but I don't think it would be fair to say that's what makes One Piece great. Because look at Zo. Zo has little to no fighting. Luffy, none of the Straw Hats fight in Zo at all. None of them do. There is no Straw Hat action in Zo. And a lot of people consider Zo one of the best arcs in all of One Piece because it has so much lore and mystery. And it introduces Sanji's family and the concept of him being a bin smoke. It had that great moment where all the minks bow down and go, Rai Zo is safe. And everybody just like, but they, they tortured you. That's one of my favorite moments in the arc. When everybody's like, Rizo is safe. He is here. And the entire fan base was like, That's great. Like, that is really good, Oda. That was really good writing. That was really good. And I don't think it's fair to hate on Oda for not giving people fights when that's not what One Piece is about. One Piece is probably going to be entering the reverie soon. Be it before or after Wano, and that's probably going to be a political arc. Let's be honest. The Reverie probably won't have fighting unless something happens with Stavo, which I will be doing a video. I have a Stavo theory I want to make a video about that I will be doing at some point in the future, maybe the next week, week or two, three weeks. But the point is, is that the reverie, which is probably just going to be political, unless my Stabo theory I'll be releasing in a few weeks is true, but, um, which is probably just going to be political, people are hyped for it. In fact, I think some people say they're more hyped for the reverie, and for all the lore and story progression, and all the information we can get at the reverie, they're more hyped for the lore, story progression, and info than they are for the fighting. Because that's what One Piece is about. It's about lore, hype, story progression, information, mystery, adventure. Some of the greatest moments in One Piece are the ones where the crew are just hanging out. And I don't think it's fair to call One Piece a straight up battle manga. 
I think what One Piece would be described as, personally, is a battle manga. It's an adventure manga with a side of battle. So it's, it's about the adventure of a straw hatter going on. And this amazing world Oda had created. And the mysteries in it. What is the Void Sentry? What is the Will of D? What, who is Joy Boy? What is up with the Ancient Weapon? It's about all of that. That is what One Piece is about. That's it. That is what One Piece is about. It's about the bond between the Straw Hat Pirates. And then, along their way towards their end goal, which is of course to obtain the One Piece and make Luffy the King of the Pirates, they encounter enemies that want to stop them, and they have to fight them. And that's where the battle part comes in. But I don't believe it's fair to straight up call One Piece a battle manga. So, that's just my stance on the matter. I just wanted to bring you guys a quick One Piece video. I don't talk about One Piece as much. Tell me how much you enjoy this kind of format where I get in front of the camera and I talk to you like this. These are a lot easier to make and they allow me to put more time into making my highly edited videos. So I'm probably going to be doing more of these if you guys like it. This also means that uh, you guys will get more frequent, highly edited video because I can release these while I work on those. Also, if you have anything you want me to talk about regarding One Piece, tell me in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos like this. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get notified for all my videos when they come out. And all else, guys, most importantly, have a great day. This is Nerd King 101. Signing out.